The police in Grand Theft Auto, the good guys were also kind of bad guys who were meant to stop us because we are bad guys. Being a part of Grand Theft Auto 5, of course the police have their own interesting facts and glitches that I'm sure you don't know. If you get busted while you're in first person and making a phone call, your character will glitch out. Go to hell! This is gonna hurt! Let me see those hands! Go! You're a jackass. Oh! Wanna fuck you up so during Michael's Epsilon side missions, Michael is tasked with stealing some cars. If you get police attention while doing so, you'll receive a notification that reads, this vehicle can't be delivered while wanted, lose your wanted rating. This is strange because obviously it should read wanted level. Kiflam. If you park cars in the parking spaces in front of a police station, police will spawn in those cars in order to chase you when you get a wanted level. It even works with a tank. Oh, oh, no. If you carefully block the passenger side door of a police car, this will prevent the policeman on that side from getting out when you steal the vehicle. This by itself wouldn't be too interesting, except that having him in your car does not prevent you from losing your wanted level. When you eventually do lose it, you can stop and let him out, where he will showcase complete indifference to the prior events. On the Mission 3's company, Michael meets with Steve, Dave, and Agent Sanchez. While shooting your weapon anywhere near the area causes a mission fail, the game is far more accepting of gunfire from other sources. Lose the locals and let's get on with this. Lose them. I can't show up on the paperwork. If you gain a wanted level and stay in the location where you gained it, it will take 30 seconds for the star to start flashing. However, if you move away from where you gained the wanted level, you will start to lose it quicker. When you are below ground with a wanted level, cops can spawn above ground and then pursue you below. When they transition from above ground to below ground, however, they can be made invisible. Once you move to a part of the map that the game considers to be above ground, the cops will reappear. What's your name? On the Mission Hood Safari, Franklin Lamar and Trevor are in a drug deal gone wrong and flee from the cops. Many are likely unaware that if you follow Lamar, you'll be tasked with defending him from the police and then taking him to his home. Hey, weird dude, let's get out of here. Kid, follow me, all right? I'll get us out of this. Interestingly, even after you lose the police, Lamar doesn't lose his bloodlust. He will attack and kill any cop he sees, and you will not even get a wanted level for it. Man, you make oh, 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 you get busted a bad name. Later on, crazy dude. See ya. If you get a wanted level near Fort Zancudo, the military actually show up instead of the police. Drop that weapon! You have nowhere to run! If you drive up to the police with a shot up car and a dead person in the passenger seat, they will not be suspicious. at me right now. Do you have any idea what I bet you That's Open. so You're so bad. Ah! Ow, Open. shit. Ah! At the Cypress Flats ammunition, there is an error that prevents cops from coming into the shooting range to get you. They will therefore pile up outside of it, waiting for you to leave. Of course, if you open the door yourself, they would then be able to come inside. Oh, shit. 
Women of the night will not run from police cars unless their siren is activated. They won't even run if you honk your horn at them. However, because the horn and siren are activated by the same button, it is possible to shift from the horn to the sirens and then back to the horn quickly, leaving your sirens on, but resulting in no response from the woman. Now no need to get your tail feathers all in rough, sugar. Sometimes when you switch to Trevor, he is being pursued by the police. For whatever reason, these police do not have any guns, although additional police that show up will be armed. If you burn the corpse of a police officer, you get three stars. Oh, you of course get no stars if you burn a civilian. Just because a surface has gaps doesn't mean cops can necessarily see through them, as shown by these poles here in the subway. It isn't the case that these gaps actually have solid material in them, but we simply can't see it, as cops can fire through them. If you get arrested while on a quad bike, you will experience a visual glitch. While I couldn't get them to arrest me easily while I was on the bike, getting on the bike just as I was being arrested did the trick. For some reason, whatever weapon you had equipped will now be levitating near your hand, and this fixes if you try to use a weapon. A strange bug can occur if you take a prostitute to the golf course. During the time when prostitutes are accessible, the golf course isn't, so there's usually security there who will arrest you if you trespass on the golf course too long. What's gonna put a smile on your face? Mm, not now, beautiful. By attempting to engage with the prostitute moments before you get a wanted level for trespassing, the game becomes bugs. The woman, rather than attempting to flee because of the gunfire, will be stuck standing next to your car, unpanicked. You will be unable to move your character and you'll be locked in place attached to the steering wheel. I have always believed that the police only take your ammo when they bust you. In reality, while they do take all of your ammo for all of your weapons, you also lose any weapon that was in your hands at the time. On Prologue, as you escape with Trevor, Brad, and Michael, you can point your guns at the cops that arrive, and they will not respond. Cops! Coming our way! Be cool! They ain't made this car yet! Using the small tow truck, you can bring police into your garage and trap them until you leave, which despawns them. If released, of course, they will just drive around confused. If you attempt to take them out of their vehicle, they will become hostile. Something you may know, but I did not know, is that you can sleep off a wanted level up to three stars. This of course means that this does not work for 4 or 5 star wanted levels. There is a strange bug with police cars. When you shoot the driver and they fall on their horn, the sound is completely different to the sound the car makes when honked in any other situation. Party time, ladies. The airspace above the golf course is considered protected in the same way that the airspace above Fort Zancudo is. If you are below 250 feet, you will hear the same warning you hear at the forts. If you do not heed the warning, you will receive a 2 star wanted level. You are in restricted airspace. 
airspace. Divert your course or you will be shot down. Attention aircraft. This airspace is prohibited. Reverse course now. If you have a wanted level, you can call Dr. Freelander and complete a phone therapy session in order to remove it. Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Let's speak again soon. Hey, bro. What's going on? How you doing? If you call 911 with police nearby, those police will immediately run to your location. Police officers are en route to your current location. Normally when you make a save file, if you have the cops on you while making that save, you will still have the cops on you when you load it. This rule doesn't apply to auto saves though, so when you rob a store, do a stunt jump or rob a security van, you can just load the auto save to remove the cops. Motherfucker clean. When the cops lose sight of you, if you get into a vehicle that they've never seen you in before, your arrow on the map will turn black. If your arrow on the map is white, the cops know the car you're driving and will find you easier. If your arrow is black, they don't know your car and thus won't find you as easily. What you likely don't know is that if your car is known, you can get out of your car in a bush and get back in your car, and this will turn your arrow black, giving you all the benefits of an unknown car. Even stranger, if the cops see you again, the second they lose sight of you, they will again forget your car, giving you a black arrow. Basically, if you get out of your car into a bush and back in your car, the cops can never remember what car you're driving. You can also just personally go into a bush to turn your arrow black. This represents that cops don't know where you are, but it's mainly valuable for avoiding flying units, as those on the ground will still eventually find you. When in water, if you want to know whether helicopters will see you as they fly over, you should watch your map, as going deep enough will give you a black arrow, indicating that you'll almost certainly not be detected. All the previous facts about black arrows were thought to not work in online, but that turns out to not be true. This isn't obvious because your arrow never turns black, likely due to some other color overrising it, but as you can see, the effect is present. When drinking from a soda machine, enemies will stop shooting at you until you're finished drinking. The outer rim of the court center turns out to be a very good hiding place from the police. It's almost perfect, unfortunately they will occasionally cheat. On the wharf, there are telescopes that you can pay $1 to look down for a short duration. If you happen to have a wanted level when you use these telescopes, the police will wait patiently rather than ruining your sightseeing. During the prologue heist, Michael, Brad and Trevor meet heavy resistance from the police. Despite it being left unanswered how the police learned of the robbery, one potential answer comes from noticing that one of the hostages does reach under a table in an earlier scene. Initially his hands are up, but the next time we see him he is reaching under the table. It could be that this is meant to suggest that he pressed the silent alarm. Hands right your back! Oh, come on mister, we're giving you everything you want! Don't even think about it! Oh. The mission marker for long stretch has an effect where you lose the cops when you go near us, allowing you to base and play with the cops.
The police transporter van has two interesting features. The first, while the front glass is bulletproof, the side glass is not, making it far from secure. Secondly, while inside, it is possible to shoot through the front bulletproof glass, while leaving it intact, keeping you secure at least from the front. Near the end of the obvious approach to the big score, you need to lose the cops in order to switch to Trevor to continue the mission. It turns out the easiest way to do this is to ignore your getaway vehicle entirely and just hide in the corner. Your crew members will stay at the getaway car and fight the police, and will still fight the police even after you lose your wanted level but you won't regain it despite the gunshots. Oh, we're clear! I'll check on the goal! Trevor! Lester! Come in! Mikey! Mike, how you doing? T, I think we're in the clear. On the mission Daddy's Little Girl, Jimmy informs Michael that Tracy is on a boat, causing Michael to dive off the pier and swim over to us. Rockstar didn't seem to believe you would get a wanted level at this point, so intentionally getting one leads to strange results. Once Tracy is underwater, she seems to no longer need oxygen at all. Nothing else interesting happens. If you lose your wanted level, everything respawns and progresses as normal. On the mission I Fought the Law, where we acquire vehicles for Dev and Weston, once you meet up with the two racers at the petrol station, it is not possible to get a wanted level for the rest of the mission. While also true for the previous scenes, this is most interesting in the final scene because you can drive to the military base and screw around. Hey Frank, yeah. what'd I tell you bro? Kevin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. On the Polito score setup, pointing your gun at the police as they arrive will cause them to notice you and fire at you. Oddly, this attention and your allies firing back doesn't result in a mission fail, despite that if you were to fire back yourself, it would fail. Polito radio, this is Polito card 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Last of the year, Roger that. Got a reload! For reasons unknown, the mini sub setup for the Polito score caps your ability to get a wanted level at 2 stars, meaning if you arrive with a higher wanted level, it will reduce it to 2. If you start the mission Eye in the Sky with Trevor, he will be required to go through a police station. At the back, there is a policeman who has built a bit difference. Once you respawn, the policeman will become like us mere mortals. If you bring out and put away your phone too quickly, then the game mission fails. Devin Weston sent me. Oh, oh, right. Uh, the helipad is on the roof. When you approach the Merryweather heist, even before you start the mission, you lose any wanted level you have. You can therefore abuse this to screw with the police. On the Blitz Place setup where you go to steal a garbage truck, the game recognizes that it would be hard to escape the police after stealing it, so it caps your wanted level at 2 so it cannot go above that regardless of what you do. This is easier shown in the military base that would normally give you 4 stars. Ah! On the mission Minor Turbulence, Ron is immune to damage from the police. Not only will he tank all this damage, he will also attempt to take out the police with his fists. Similar to the vending machines, if you have a wanted level and you go to your safe house to smoke a bong, the cops will not shoot you until you're done smoking. Oh, I'm 
Excuse me, I hope I didn't shit my Decent weed right there. I feel nice. Ooh, I feel real good all over. During I Fought the Law, Trevor and Michael dress up as traffic cops in order to steal some cars. Not only do you get to keep these outfits and can use them later, but there is one case where they actually have a use. On the mission Stingers, a setup for the subtle big score heist, you go inside a police parking lot to steal a van. If you wear your traffic cop outfit, the police will acknowledge it and not prevent you from walking through and taking the van. Shouldn't you be on the road giving out traffic tickets, bud? Those pants are nice and tight, man. I swear to God, two years and Meriwether are gonna have our jobs. Come on, private cops. As a comparison, here's how they treat you without the outfits. Sir, they'll be able to help you inside. That's a- You have the right to shut the hell up! Hey, we've got an intruder! This interaction seems specifically programmed for this mission, as cops outside of it do not acknowledge the outfits. Hey, what's up? You're gonna end up shot! Between the missions scouting the port and Hang 10, Trevor is able to interact with Mr. Raspberry Jam. So strong is their bond that the cops will wait patiently for their shows of affection. Look at you. Oh, you'll keep our secret. Gucci, Gucci, Goo! On my command! Oh, oh, whoa! I am vanilla by your standards. Oh, you scaly fucker! Friends forever. I'll kill you! <laughs> Reloading! On the mission, did somebody say yoga? It is impossible to get the cops during the scene where you're meant to go upstairs to get Jimmy. Jimmy! You still here? Fuck off! On the mission the Polito score sets up, the police are overheard to be making roadblocks in an attempt to find who set off the false alarm at the bank. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. As the waypoint directs you away from them, most people have likely never seen that the roadblocks are actually set up and are impassable. But no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> Alright. For the remainder of this video, I will show you all the types of vehicles that give you items. The FIB Buffalo gives you a carbine rifle. The police cruiser gives you a shotgun. The police bike gives you a pistol. The police transporter gives you an SMG. The police maverick gives you a sniper rifle. The park ranger vehicle gives you a carbine rifle. The SWAT vehicle gives you max armor. As I have now bestowed upon you this sage wisdom, you owe me a subscription and a like. Or don't, it's up to you, I guess, you know. But if you want to see more videos like this, there are heaps more on the channel, you should check them out. I wish you all the best.